marriage is a time when a growing love is made public, when a man and a woman commit their love and their life with promises to one another in the very presence of witnesses. Marriage is that promise that two hearts gladly make. It's a promise to be tender, to care, to help, to give and take. Marriage is a promise to share one life each other, and it's a love that promise meant to be kept forever. And the foundation of your marriage is built upon the love that you do have for one another. And it has been said about love in the contents of marriage, its primary purpose and goal is to make the other person happy. And if I could hold your flowers, and if you could hold hands, these are the hands that will work alongside of yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will patiently love you and care for you throughout the years. These are the hands that will hold you when you feel fear or grief fills your mind and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will give you strength when you struggle and support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children and keep your family together as one. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. Lastly, these are the hands that, even wrinkled with age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch, a touch from these hands. If you would repeat it after me, CJ. I, CJ. I, CJ. Take you, Kristen. Take you, Kristen. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. And sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. As I give you the ring. As I give you the ring. A symbol of my love. A symbol of my love. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. You may place it on her finger now. And repeat after me. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit. I commit. My very heart. My very heart. Very heart and soul. Very me. heart and soul. I ask that you wear this ring. I ask that you wear this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder. Of the vows. Of the vows. We have spoken on our wedding day. We have spoken on our wedding day. Now in turn, if you would repeat after me, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Take you, CJ. Take you, CJ. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we're parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness. Of my love and faithfulness. You may place it on his ring and repeat after me. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit my very heart. I commit my very heart. And soul to you. And soul to you. I ask that you. I ask that you. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder. Of the vows we of, have spoken. Of the vows we have spoken. On this our wedding day. On this our wedding day. You know what, I would like to say that may these two race rings symbolize the spirit of undying love in each other of your hearts. Wherever you go, may you always return to one another in your togetherness. May the home you establish be such a place of peace and joy that many will find there a friend. May your love for each other be as a pebble dropped in a pond of water like the ripples in the water across and recross one another's. May your love touch and retouch all those around you throughout your life together. You're about to take part of the Unity Candle Ceremony, which is a part of your wedding celebration. Instead of separate lights in life, today you join your life, your marriage, and your love in unity with one another. So if you would take a step over here and take your individual candles, light the unity together, and then put your individual candles out. Blow them out and...
And if you would take a step back. In the language of flowers, the red rose is a symbol of love, and it would be our hope that wherever you make your home, you just designate a permanent spot. Put a vase, two red roses that fit in, and celebrate this occasion every year on your wedding anniversary, at least in part by both of you bringing a red rose, placing the vase as renewal, a recommitment of your love and promises you entered into this day with one another. And then during the year, if things happen, words can't resolve. If just one of you would bring a red rose and place it in the vase as a statement of your love, the other would say we accept it. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be a shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter the days of your togetherness. Having shared with each other these words of love and commitment, and are witnessing and expressing of your love, as you have given each other your rings, and having joined your hands and hearts before Witnesses, it is my honor by the authority vested in me as an ordained minister of the gospel by the laws of the state of Nevada to proudly pronounce you husband and wife. And you may seal with a big kiss as we congratulate CJ and Kristen as they take their first stroll down the aisle.